James Hastings is a writer and director that has spent the last eight years falling in love with cinema and at 17 years old made his debut at Cannes Film Festival, prompting him to be nominated and subsequently win a Global Youth Award in 2017. The experience opened up opportunities that he could never have expected and he joins me today for this month's Aware Now Thanks edition to tell us about his experience and why he has an attitude of gratitude. Hi James. Thanks Hello for Janet. Yeah, Thanks for having me. Are you good? Yeah, very well, very well. Fantastic. I think what we'll do is get straight into the questions, if that's okay with you. Let's do it, yeah. Perfect. James, you started your film company, Hastings Infinity Films, at just 12 years old. What was it about cinema that captured your imagination in such a way? Well, I think it was, um, I think it started when I was about 10 and I, I was very interested in um, magic like card magic and sleight of hand and big illusions. And I think it was sort of understanding the, the secret behind the mechanics and then putting on a performance. And I think that's sort of where the root of my passion for storytelling sort of evolved. And, um, and then I think my, my, interest in, my interest in movie making, came when I was in a religious education class at school okay. and up to that point my my sort of understanding and experience of film watching was limited to light-hearted kid films and then all of a sudden I'm watching Schindler's List in a uh, religious education and I think just watching that film and sort of thinking well I wasn't I wasn't even thinking I was just immersed in this world and it was more of an experience than a film. And I think that's, that's when I sort of fell in love with cinema and I found out it was made by someone called Steven Spielberg. And I rushed home and watched all of his films and sort of fell in love. And then I sort of discovered the, the masters of cinema, um, sort of a Hitchcock and Kurosawa and Fellini and sort of delved into the world of cinema and, I've loved it ever since, really. Amazing. I mean, I remember watching Schindler's List myself. I mean, it's such a powerful and beautiful film. And, and the red coat, I always remember that. Always yeah. stuck in my yeah. mind. So I can see why that was so inspiring for you. Um, so you were inspired. You created Hastings Infinity Films. And your film debut was at Cannes, an achievement that most 17-year-olds could only dream of. Um, what film did you debut and um, what did it feel like to see your work on the screen at such a prestigious event? Well, it was, um, it was a short film that I did um, called The Distance. And it was pretty much an overwhelming experience, to say the least, going to Cannes. Mm. Um, it was just, there was so much to take in. Um, and I went with my uh, leading actor who was in the film and it was just surreal, just everything going on. And um, I was accepted into uh, the, the short film corner, it's called. And it was just, I mean, it feels more like a, a dream than a memory right now, just because of going there when I was only uh, 17 or however old I was. Um, and yeah, it was, it was pretty surreal. We both agreed that we should go back again to take, take it all in a bit. Um, just because there was, yeah, a lot going on. But um, yeah, it was it was weird to be such going at such a young age because no one else had made a film at that age before. So yeah, it was it was a proud moment. But um, hope to do it again. I'm sure you will. In fact, I've absolutely no doubt in my mind that you'll be back there again. But I can imagine it must have been hugely just uh, overwhelming with everything going on. Absolutely amazing experience. And like you said, you know, it, it doesn't seem like a memory. It seems like something you watched on the screen yourself, which is yeah. amazing. And then 2017 continued to be a great year for you because you went on to win um, a Global Youth Award and become a Global Youth Ambassador for Roundtable Global. Uh, what did you enjoy most about the event itself aside from the winning? Um, well, there's a bit of a funny story with this, uh with this because um i was i was nominated by a family friend and i was debating whether i should actually go to the awards <laughs> um because I, I didn't really think i'd win or anything 
So um, we decided to make a bit of a day out of it and go go to the IMAX and, in London and see Dunkirk. And then we just hop over and just see what happens at the awards. And then, and then I won. And then it's sort of been this, the catalyst for so many things in my life um, and all the people I met and everything. So I think the thing I enjoyed most about it, I mean, it was a lovely day and the venue and, you know, all the people, but I think it's just the unexpectedness of it and sort of, you know, how it's changed my life so much. Um, so yeah, it was, it, was, it was wonderful and sort of to meet you guys as well. And now I'm sort of a little part of your team as well. So it's, yeah, it's, it was good. Brilliant. And I do remember seeing the surprise on your face, actually. You really did not expect to win it, um, which I think is, is, is a really beautiful thing. It's really, um, it's really humbling to see somebody who's so, uh, so amazing, such as yourself. Well, yeah, because um, all, all the other all the other people there were doing these crazy things like helping the homes and saving the environment, and then there I was, some guys just made a couple of films, but um, but yeah, but although I do focus on feel good, <laughs> inspiring films, but but yeah, but yeah, it was a bit yeah. of a surprise. It was an honour to to win. So three years on, and, and as you say, you're still very active as a, an ambassador, and you're just finishing, just uh, actually worked today on the video for our brand new Phoenix Rising song, which I'm really excited about. And um, I mean, I listened to it and it gave me goosebumps. Actually, some of our team watched it and listened to the song and cried, which I think, you know, if you can emit that kind of powerful reaction from somebody then, then you're definitely doing something right. Um, what other opportunities is it um, presented you with and what would you say to any young people that are thinking about applying for next year's awards? Um, so I'd say uh, straight away from winning the award, I met so many amazing people and it's just given me so many great opportunities to, uh, to work with them and I'm still working this day with um, Dana who I, uh, who I met at the awards and we're working on a film together and also Fiona from Platform Inspires I've worked a lot with so yeah it's all, it's, it was all about uh, meeting so many amazing people and uh, building this network uh, with them and then what would I say to people thinking of applying I would say to just just go for it because I feel like sometimes you need to recognize that um that what you're doing is actually needs to be celebrated and um i feel like the awards was a good opportunity for that and as well you get to you know uh, be with so many other inspiring young people so yeah just go for it amazing thank you and i think that's a really valid point actually because you know you as you said yourself you didn't realize actually that what you were doing was so inspiring and when you hear stories of other people doing things um sometimes you can think that what they're doing is has more validity or um you know is more inspirational than what you're doing and and absolutely under these circumstances that's not the case so i think you know put yourself out there because when you seek feedback for the work that you're doing in the world you're often very surprised about the uh, uh, the results that you get from that. Now, I know you're working on some really exciting projects at the moment because you always are whenever I speak to you. What have you got in the pipeline at the moment? And also, um, I know that you work on commissions for people as well. So um, how can people get in touch with you if they uh, would like to have a film commissioned by you? So, um, so uh, I'm working on a new feature film with uh, Dana, who I met at the awards, and it is a true story and it's based on a book and it's about a young boy during the second world war who decides that he wants to build a plane and fly to germany and kill hitler and his dad is not so not so happy with this and burns his plane and he eventually ends up taking a us plane with his younger brother into the sky on his way to Germany, but crashes it into some trees and manages to escape. But it's a it's a feel good, inspiring film again, and it's it's going to be a big a big one. Um, but we're just uh, in pre production at the moment. And um, the final thing, oh yeah, Kurt, how can you reach me? Um, you can just go to my website, uh, HastingsInfinityFilms.com, and I've got social media all by the same name. 
and yeah i do i do freelance videography work for people so do contact me if you need a videographer for anything and i'll be happy to help that's brilliant james and i think there's some um, other examples of your work on the website as well so i think it would be great for people who are really intrigued now which they're bound to be um, especially hearing about your latest project that's absolutely incredible um, so yeah we will include the links within the article so i'm sure that people will um, be keen to click over and have a look and see what you've been up to um, the 2020 global youth awards is, will also be streamed on the 5th of december which will be 10 a.m pst via connect tv uh, we would love for everybody who's watching this to join us um, to be inspired by more amazing winners just like James. Um, thank you so much, James, for, for joining me today and thanks to absolutely everyone for tuning in.